Welcome back to another episode of Seagull Style. This week we've got a bumper edition for you. It's seven matches and the January transfer window. And I've got to be honest, it was so stressful that I stress ate myself through two magnums and ended up with this on my top. Look at that. Look at that. So people are on the pitch, they think it's all over. It is now. Shit! Did you see that? He must have a foot like a traction and This is you! Maggie Patsy, can you hear me? Maggie Patsy, you boys took the hell of a piece! Yeah! 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 Let's get into it anyway. Here we go. So we've gone back to basics here against Southampton. Arana, Dunk, Sotalo, Lamptey, Caicedo and Tapia in the midfield. Sheldrup, McAllister, March and Ayorke up top. We need to get back to winning ways here, but I'd take a draw to be honest. Oh, it's there. It's there. It's Captain Fantastic. It's Lewis Dunk. Look at that header. Such a reliable source of goals. Look at that beautiful play. Oh, Sheldrop unlucky. This is good, though. This is what we needed. Bit of a confidence booster against rivals. Oh, dispossessed. Lamptey's on it, though. Is that you okay? Oh, it's an amazing goal. He's offside, maybe. Maybe. Let it stand. Go on. Oh, unlucky. Tapia punting it forward. <laughs> Surely. Is that a pen? Oh, Maitland-Niles, he's gone. Both their centre-backs on yellow cards now as well. They will not want to risk anything silly there. Look at this dirty Southampton team. They hate us. Dominant performance. It's exactly what we needed. Southampton, no shots on target. What are you doing? No way. It was a dive. Yes! Cheating scum. See it out. Come on, blow the whistle. Wow, that was uh, super intense. Pascal Gross doesn't seem himself at the minute. He wants to go out on loan to help secure a permanent move away from the club. I don't think Pascal is expecting anything from you at the moment. It might be worth having a word with him. Pascal, let's have a chat. I've noticed you seem a bit down at the minute. Is there something on your mind that I could help with? I've not been given the playing time I was promised, so I want to go out on loan with a view to leaving permanently, says Pascal. You're an important backup, Pascal. That's easy for you to say. <laughs> it's not your career that's stalling after all. I really need this loan move. Listen! pointing finger. You think you know best, but you don't. I'm your manager, and I have your best interests at heart, so show me some respect. I don't think a loan is suitable for you at the moment, and you're going to have to accept it. I'm a professional, so I'll leave this here, but I'm not happy with how you've dealt with it. Thanks, Pascal. It's time for the World Cup. How exciting. England kicked off their World Cup with a 4-0 win against Wales, followed by a 2-0 victory over Iran. And finally, to get through the group, a 2-1 win against the USA. They followed that with a 2-0 win against Ecuador in the first knockout round. Beat France 2-0 to get through to the semi-finals. And thanks to some arguably favourable refereeing, they beat Belgium 3-1 in the semis. It's coming home. It's England going to the final. Oh, it didn't come home, I'm afraid. The Netherlands win the World Cup 2-0 against England in the final. How much heartbreak can this nation take? Anyway, let's brush it off and get back to business. Look at this. No love lost as Trossard and Barmies go head to head. Forgotten about you, Trossard. The media are anticipating the return of Leandro Trossard to his former club as Tottenham Hotspur take on Brighton and Hove Albion in the English Premier Division at American Express Community Stadium, according to 442. There is not much love lost between the inverted winger and manager Barmies, despite the player only being part of the Seagulls manager squad for a fairly short period. Tell me about it. That's on him. That is on him. All right, Spurs next. I'm going largely unchanged. Just Skov in for March at uh, right midfield. I know I said we'll go aggressive, but I want to win the game. I don't want to lose any players to silly, silly cards. Hence, Galliardini is on the bench. Oh, look, it's Jeff Crooks from Sporting Life. First goal is crucial, right? Back on this again, are we, Jeff? Oh, and they've benched Trossard. Spurs have benched Trossard. How's that working out for you, Spurs? F 
Q. Gonna be a tight one, this. Let's see. Ooh, we're playing some nice stuff. I don't like this. Oh my word, that's a lovely switch. No, 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 no. At least it's not Trossard. Yeah, they suckered us with that switch. We weren't ready for that. Son, oh, it's a great goal. Nicely done. Go on, Alexis. Oh. I mean, it's not beyond us. Just push it a little bit attacking now. Oh, dear. Okay, it's bad. Let's um, switch things up a little bit here. Disappointing this. Spurs, though, I mean, would Brighton be expecting to get a result against Spurs? I don't know. Just makes it clear that reinforcements are needed. I was getting a bit carried away at the start, maybe. They're playing some outrageous stuff. How are you getting bossed by Perisic? He's like 40 years old. Kulisevsky. Okay, this is a humbling. You know, they were Champions League finalists a few years ago. Skov. Lovely. Goldeskov. Very nice. Goldeskov. Lovely ball from Kelly Dean. It's a good sign. We're doing all right. I think I set very unrealistic expectations for us at the start with that lovely start. We haven't let Trossard score. He's on the pitch now. We haven't let him score. That's the important thing. Love to fucking injure him. I mean, yeah, that's not great, but we gave it a good go. Okay, so two bottom of the table clashes now in three days to round out the year, starting with Wolves, who are bottom of the league. We've gone unchanged here. We need some confidence. We need some consistency. We need to build that spirit again that we've lost. Here we go. Come on, boys. Arana, very sloppy again. Oh, my God, you're so sloppy in possession these days. Oh, what is that? They're bottom of the league. They've got Diego Costa up front. Come on, bit of composure. Oh, God, come on. I'm questioning a tactical rethink. Feels like it's just lost something. I know the game was updated. Yes, I'm bringing that one out now. I know they've updated the game engine. Oh, God, no. Costa. That's the worst half of football we've, we've produced. Been terrible so far. Sort it out. I've thrown my water bottle. Come on. That's it, are you okay? You need very attacking. That's it, Lewis Dunk. When all hope is lost, you can rely on Lewis Dunk. Piranha's off. Fight for this, come on. Oh my God, you're so bad. You're so bad. They've updated the game engine. What is that, Alexis? That's so bad. Tactical rethink. Tactical rethink required. This is so bad. A shambles. I'm going to let them all play for the full match because they. I will be playing a completely different 11 against Everton because that is f***ing abysmal. I'm not having that. This is the most embarrassing day of my career. That's Brighton boss. It's the new game engine. What an absolute embarrassment. Wow. I'm going to be throwing my water bottle. My assistant is saying, unlucky boys, it would have been nice to win out there, but it wasn't to be. You were fucking atrocious. I'm far from pleased with that result. I'm throwing my water bottle and I'm getting out of there. All of you have reacted badly to that. Shove it. I'm furious. Florence Crane, a disappointing result. In your view, what happened today? I'm going to shake my head. We didn't do our jobs properly. And when that happens, you get punished regardless of the level of football you play in. Why do you think it's your fault, says Florence Crane. I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm going to wag my finger. Florence says, uh, is it fair to suggest you must be angry after that result and performance? It was an ab absolute omni shambles. <laughs> Such a disappointing result surely means it's back to the training ground and back to the drawing. No need to rub it in, Florence. Come on, that's enough. That's enough. Wow, Tottenham, not content with trying to steal Trossard from me, are now trying to steal McAllister. They've made a really crap offer of £22.5 million for him. He may become unsettled if he is not allowed to speak to Tottenham. £68 million and you've got a deal. He's not happy. <laughs> Going nowhere. It means a lot to me that I'm viewed like that. Thanks, boss. I'm happy to say I've always liked you, Alexis. Bit of loyalty. Finally, something goes right. Everton against Brighton. 
wholesale changes all around the place. Estupinian, Colwell, Van Hecker, March at right back. Gilmore, Gagliardini in midfield. Leonardo, Lalana, Gross and Ayorke up top. We need something out of this desperately to arrest this horrible slide. Go on, Purvis. Whip it. Yes. Oh. It's Ayorke. Finally, he's back in business. Oh, I've been getting worried about him. He seems like a real form player. He goes on streaks. Not like that. <laughs> this is much more like it, though. I tell you what, Marcus Leonardo's been excellent all game. Battling. He loses the ball, fights to win it back. He may have got a yellow card for it, but he fights to win it back. Go on, Adam. Oh, my word! <laughs> Goal of the season has to be. Look at this. Lalana. <laughs> Whips it across like that. Gross. Oh my god. That has to be the goal of the season. Pascal Gross. I feel bad the way I treated you. That's incredible. Wow. Clean sheet now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Galliadini gives away his third. Pe He's given away three penalties and had two sendings off. An absolute liability, Gagliardini, but that is a great result. Well done. Well done, boys. We needed that. Pascal Gross was an absolute thunder bastard. I had a chat with Solly March earlier today, and it feels it's time for him to leave the club in search of a new challenge. As March is a team leader in the squad, you need to consider the impact on the rest of the squad should you fail to appease him. I tried getting his agent to sort it out, uh, Aidan Turner of Poldark fame. Arr. But sadly, he couldn't help. I've been at this club for quite a long time and I think I want to take on new challenges elsewhere. I'm going to say, I'm going to say you're a very influential player in the dressing room and that kind of impact is something I can't afford to lose. I hadn't Ahoy considered myself hearties. that way until now. It feels good to be seen as an important player. I'm happy to stay. Thanks. Thank God for that, Solly. We needed that. You're our new right back. Oh God, and now Lukic isn't happy because he's not playing. <laughs> this one's on me. He's my signing and he was always going to be a backup, but uh, yeah, this is a problem. Sasa Lukic. Hi, what's happening? <laughs> or is it... Hi, uh, what's happening? Is there anything on your mind? You haven't seemed yourself for the last few days and I wanted to check in and see if I can help. He's suddenly angry. I'm not starting enough to be considered a regular in the team and my career is stagnating as a result. I need you to ensure that changes. I mean, it would be better if you were prepared to accept being used as a squad player from now on rather than worry about what was previously agreed to. I could do that. Sounds fair enough to me. King Midas here. <laughs> so the transfer window is open and we can already see the time wasters coming in. Norwich wanting to loan Billy Gilmore. Villa wanting to loan Solly March. Get out. No, absolutely not. No, no, no. You're not loaning Solly March. You're not loaning Billy Gilmore. No, off you go. Get out my sight. We've got to hang on to everything we can now. It's the FA Cup. That old romantic competition. And we have today Plymouth Argyle as our opponents. I've taken this opportunity to give the other boys a bit of a run out. In goal, we have Jason Steele. Protecting him, we've got a back four of Colwell, Jackson, Van Hecker and Packham. Jackson and Packham making their debuts for us. Gilmore and Lalana in central midfield. Mitoma, Gross and Undav in attacking midfield and leading the line today it's Marcos Leonardo show me what you made of boys let's see okay let's build from the back I guess <laughs> goodness me <laughs> okay we're just waiting to get off foothold in the game it's okay it's okay everything's all right <laughs> another team playing that 7-2-1 formation still don't know how I feel about this we're getting bossed though at the moment it seems <laughs> oh my goodness come on <laughs> okay well again we don't need distractions from the league it's okay that's it. Good pressure. Lovely. Lalana. Marcus Leonardo. That's a beautiful goal. What a calm finish. Love that. Look at that. One back by Lalana. Lovely little outside of the boot pass to Leonardo. And he just sort of lofts it in. Slowly starting to dominate the game. Well, we were. And the last thing I want is a replay. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> There's no excuse for this, really. We have got a very weak inside. They have changed the match engine. <laughs> oh, God, no. Again, I guess we don't need distractions. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it's deserved for Plymouth as well. They've, they've deserved this. 
Oh god, <laughs> that was said god. Just get it over with, I don't care. <laughs> He's offside, we're okay. Goal awarded! <laughs> if it's going to happen, let it happen in the FA Cup. That's okay. Who was that playing him on? Van Hecker, of all people. One of the more senior heads. <laughs> there is a gaping hole in, in the centre of defence here. I've just let this happen now. I'm hoping this doesn't actually get me sacked. Okay, well, let's all move on from this. I'm embarrassed by that performance. It was absolutely shameful. Matt Tate, I am not going to talk to you. I'm going to send my assistant. Back to a full strength side as much as possible. So we've got this stupid young dunk, Sitalo Scovin at right back. Gagliardini and Tapia, pleased. Gagliardini, come on. Sheldrick McAllister, gross on the right wing. I'm so impressed with gross recently. And a Yorke up top. Another 7 2 1 formation. I hate it. Oh, God, no. Oh, Kai Havertz, true to form there. Gagliardini stepping up. 7 out of 10 so far. Oh, God. Oh. That's a rough half. Give the fans their money's worth. Come on. No one's motivated. <laughs> Go on, Pascal. That's it. Are you okay? Oh, I played a 1 2 off the defender. <laughs> it's getting nerve wracking now, this. Ooh, nothing silly now, Robert, please. Don't lose it back there. Okay. Nice calm play. Are you okay? Oh, it's an amazing goal. He's offside. Is he? Come on. Damn it. Stunning ball this. Oh, it's unlucky. Tapia, lovely ball. Picks out a you okay? And what a finish that is. Don't you dare. No. That is so cruel. Sanchez saves a Jorginho penalty. Deserved. Deserved. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. No, Gagliardini. It was, wasn't it? It was Gagliardini. He's an absolute liability. This is unbelievable. That is sickening. Absolutely sickening. We outplayed him there, I think. Okay, here's our first signing of January, and it's a big one. We need a boost at the moment, given recent results. So I'm going big. We're going for Yusufa Makoku. Maybe a distant relative of Tonton Zola Makoku. Who knows? £44 million pounds we're paying, but that's spread over a number of years. At first, it's £6.5 million out of this, this year's transfer budget, which is okay. The only thing I'm not happy about is this minimum fee release clause here. Clubs in UEFA Champions League, £92 million. He's going to be worth more than that. I know it. He's renowned as a world-class player in the future. His agent insisted. So we've got to have that in there. Otherwise, I think it's an incredible signing. 18 years of age. Look at that dribbling and finishing, acceleration, agility, natural fitness, pace. Decent determination, flair, composure. He's a striker, but I'm actually going to be training him as a right winger uh, because that seems to be the, the weak point in our team now. Right wing and right back. Right back, I'm now converting all our right wingers to right backs. Uh, so we need a decent right winger. Uh, and I think Yusofa Makoku is the one. Look at this from Jesse March, the Leeds manager. Sticking his boot in here. Bit harsh. What do you think about Brighton breaking their club transfer record to sign Yusuf and Makoku? Perhaps controversially, March replied, I've been growing increasingly concerned at the manner in which clubs go about their business. Where's the opportunity for players to develop from the youth teams? If I had the players, I would do it, Jesse. No need to be like that, just because you're jealous. We're in desperate need of a win here against Leeds after recent results. So I'm throwing everything I've got at this. Sanchez, Estupinian, Dunk, Sotalo, Lamptey, the standard back four. Caicedo and Tapia, the standard central midfield partnership because Gagliardini is an absolute liability. Sheldrup, McAllister and Makoku gets a debut with Ayorke up top. Let's see how we get on. Come on, boys. Get it out. Get it out. Win that. Where's the passion? No one's trying anymore. We burnt out about seven games into the season. <laughs> Oh my God, Patrick Bamford. I hate Patrick Bamford. I don't. I do now. Briefly. 
I don't know what to do about this. There needs to be a serious tactical rethink. Can't wait for January to be over and just firm up this squad. Go on, McAllister. There it is, Sotalo. Straight back into the game. Come on. Lovely corner. Swung in. Sotalo. Glanced on. Melier. Butterfingers. Come on, let's win this. Come on. Yes, get in. It's Makoko with the assist. And are you okay? Putting his body on the line. Look at this, Makoko. Slightly unfamiliar position, but it's a lovely ball in. And are you okay? Puts his body on the line. 2-1 at half time. Decent. Dare I risk putting Gagliardini on the pitch? Because Casado's on a yellow and it makes me nervous. Given our disciplinary record. Dare we do it. Gagliardini, you're going on. Please, God, just calm the f*** down. Lamptey is also on a yellow. Solly March is coming on for Lamptey. Cannot risk another stupid sending off. Well in Gallardini, that's it. Sheldrop turns him. Oh, unlucky. Come on. Clear it. Lovely. Just get rid. See this game out. This is such a slog at the moment. Every game is an uphill struggle, but we're doing well. Come on. McAllister, go on. One more. Oh. No, 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 no. Well in, Dunk. Very nice. Solly, swing it in there. Go on. Yes. It's stupid, Jan. Oh, unlucky. See it out now. Come on. What a battle. Oh, no. Oh, God. No. <laughs> In the 90th minute. A thoroughly undeserved. He got this absolute gaping hole through the defence. You were unlucky tonight. I'm sick to the stomach after that. Okay, so here's our transfer business for January. We've signed Makoku, who we've looked at already. We've also gone for Alberto Molero, who's very much one for the future. Uh, he cost us 5 million up front, rising to 9.25. Look at this, a five-star rating. Got everything you want in the right places. I believe he'll be a very useful asset for us and quite handy as well. We've also gone for another young midfielder, Zhao Neves, 18 years old. Again, he's got everything you want at such a young age. He's already... A first team contender, I would say. I think we've done well to strengthen the middle of the park. We have said goodbye to Joel Veltman and Adam Webster, unfortunately. They go with our very best wishes. Uh, Chopper Veltman in particular for his uh, sterling work as an assassin. <laughs> Dennis Undav as well. Never really hit the heights. It was a shame. We got a couple of million for him. I was grateful to have the money to spend. We didn't spend all our budget. I've been desperately trying to get a right back in. No one wants to come to me if they're any good. The only one I could get to agree was Max Ahrens, who wanted 130 grand a week, and that was just not going to happen. Overall, though, pretty happy with the squad. I guess now it's just a question of getting them to actually play well. <laughs> and that concludes a particularly gruelling session. We've won three matches in our last 14 games, which is totally unacceptable. Something needs to be changed, but we have lots of lovely new, fresh, young players ready to step in. Join us next time to see if we can arrest this horrible slide in fortunes. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to like it, comment, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd love it if you'd share the video around as well. That would be really cool. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back next Saturday. See you then. It's bye-bye from me and from my assistant manager, Mash. Yes. Lovely. Thank you.